Welcome back to STL Live. I'm Raina Ray. We're learning about the St. Louis Dental Education and Oral Health Center with Dr. Herbert Silva. And when we went to break, you were going to come back and tell us about a couple of your favorite uh, clients, I should say, that went through, veterans that went through. Uh, but before you tell us about them, talk about what it means to be able to do this for them. Well, again, the patient population that we're talking about, these are all vets from all different surfaces. Uh, the way we set this up, actually, a number of our students that are former veterans with faculty that are former veterans, we teamed up with the students and so forth. So everyone's got a little bit of a flavor with our first group anyway. Um, these, some of these people had not small, smiled and they had not had teeth in years. Uh, some of these people had been in acute discomfort and had full mouth extractions and so forth. Very difficult to function in our society. You know, it doesn't matter if you're down in the boot heel or if you're in the, in the, in the city. Um, so this is a, just a way of giving back. And we've had some comments back from the small number. We've just started this program. We've got the increments of five that we've delivered. Five more we'll be finishing up this weekend, starting another six. And again, this is something that we're looking to do going forward. So again, hoping to bring their smile back to their face. Share your favorite story. Uh, the one gentleman said that he's, he's, he's actually, his wife has is, is given him funny, funny faces now because he's, <laughs> he finds himself smiling so much. I'm not sure I want to get into that. Um, <laughs> don't. Again, these are, these don't. are quotes from the, from the folks coming wow. back. Wow. How sure. important is it to give someone that smile? Look at, look at yours. <laughs> Show that Aww. on camera. Aw, uh, thank you. It, it, it all, I think it's, it's, a question of, it's a question of what you bring to the table, and that's a matter of confidence. It's a matter of how you function in the society and so forth. So, again, uh, good, good, uh, good partnerships with uh, the university and Athenia and the students and the faculty. It's just been great. All right. You're, you help more than veterans, but you're, we're talking about a specific program where you help veterans. How do they get in touch with you? What do you offer to them? And you mentioned to me that you really want to take this someplace special. Let's talk about all of that. We got our foot in the door. The president of the university and help with the, with the university's 125-year anniversary. That's how we got our first grant to to identify these folks and, and move it forward. And we're being very frugal with the money. We've got, again, volunteer from all of the faculty and students and uh, a significant reduction in fees from the laboratory fees and so forth. So it's, it's a terrific uh, economy of service, if you will. Uh, going forward, uh, you know, the question is, how do we get more money? How do we get more vets into the program? Um, we're actually doing another program this weekend um, where we're going to be doing some free screening. There's a telephone number that uh, any vet can call. They just need a copy of their DD-214. Uh, if I'm going to remember that number, I hope, 314-685-3553 uh, would be a number for them to call in and get, in the, to get on that thing to get screened. The, the university itself can, of course, treat people, but here we're trucking to do just, we're just looking to, to sort it out and in, in how we can facilitate these folks going forward. And it doesn't matter what branch in which they served. No, ma'am. Any veteran can come and get these free services. My dad was in the Army. My father-in-law was in the Navy. I had to go in the Marine Corps. So <laughs> that's how that worked out. Did it. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I asked you earlier if you're still practicing, and you said... I'm retired. <laughs> I retired after 40 years out in West County, and so now I'm... In retirement, I'm working 60-hour weeks and every other Saturday with this program. It's, it's just great fun. <laughs> I bet. It must mean a lot to you to see the, the difference that you're making in the life of veterans. Uh, so one small step, uh, you know, but again, if you just see the students get the warm, fuzzy feeling from, from treating the patients, the patients, it's nice to watch them hugging everybody and, and smiling. It's just terrific. Uh, and again, you'll help any veteran, and it won't cost them a dime. Not for this program. Again, <laughs> people want to donate. We can go to ATSU's website and look for Smile Forward and pull down on the veterans menu. And that's a, that's a deductible 5013C. That's a great deal as well. Thank you for the work that you're doing. Please Thanks. keep it up. Yes, the St. Louis Dental Education and Oral Health Center assists with providing a needed service to improve the lives of veterans. To learn more and to make appointments for care, call 314-833-2700. And for more information, please visit the website on your screen. There's more STL Live after this. Stay with us.